Servis. Right then, Triumph TR4A. So last time around we lifted the body shell off of the chassis and now I need to get the, the body shell off of the two post lift, out of the straps and onto, well, it's new home. I'll come up with a new dolly design for the body shell. So we'll, we'll get this wheel done under the, under the shell, drop down onto these little fixtures and then move across the shop to an area where I can then get into bringing the body shell back to bare metal That'll be a lot of fun removing under seal and, and all the paint and of course getting into the more serious rust repairs. So the dolly design, quite straightforward really, just wanted something that was a strong table for the body shell to, to, to sit on and I've, I've chosen a particular width that, that suits the car so it, it, it tucks just inside the, the lower sill bottom seam so you can, you can easily wheel the, the table un underneath the car. And then similarly the height, so that I quite liked the height of, of where, the, where the body shell ended up on the, on the two post lift um, for, for working on the car, you know, particularly I'm, I'm stripping it down. So that's a similar sort of height when it, it gets put on the table. Former construction well, you'll recognize it. Okay, okay, yellow and lots of holes, but the, the approach is the same. Uh, it's still a, a design in solid works and then sent off to uh, Laser Craft is the, is the local company that I've been using that, that also did the work on the, on the lifting kit. And they, they then laser cut and brake press fold all the elements from the, from the SolidWorks files. And it's then effectively an assembly with all of the groups of, of four bolts, all, all M10s, same as the lifting frame. And I've given a, 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 lick, of, a lick of yellow paint to, um, well, to match the lifting frame, frankly, but yeah, to make it look reasonably decent in the shop. Now the, the 6 mil is really, yeah, it's, it, that's heavy duty and, and much heavier than it needs to be for just looking after the body shell. The body shell isn't actually that heavy, I think it's in the order of 150 kilograms, although I would be keen to measure it uh, out of curiosity. But I wanted something that I could also put the chassis on of the car when the time comes to, to work on the chassis at, at, a, at a much more comfortable height and, well, by extension, to, be, to then be able to put the body on top of the chassis to check how the, the body sits back on the, on the chassis. So I wanted the table to be able to accommodate effectively the, the full load of the car with or without the engine in it. And so everything's been rated, hence the six mil thickness to be able to do that. Um, and then similarly, the, the casters, so these are all oversized casters. Uh, well, first and foremost, because it makes it very, very nice to, to, to wheel around. It's, you know, it, it, it's, it feels very featherweight to push it around because the casters are so nice. They're, um, they're, they're by Maxwell, they're, they're 500 kilogram rating and they have a very nice, you know, proper sort of ball bearing uh, top, top surface. Now, in terms of supporting the body shell on, on, the, on the dolly, I've come up with these little fixtures and that just sets the, the car up higher than the top of the, of the dolly. 
the idea is that these, these fixtures mimic the little outriggers, at least the main four in the middle of the car, that they mimic those, those outriggers and, and hence I've cut little fixtures that have the same bolt groups, front and rear, they're slightly different front and rear. When I drop the body shell on, I can either use the, the shims that came off the car or, or put an equivalent shim on and so that I'm trying to keep the body shell in the, roughly the same orientation of its supports that it, it was living on for the last 50 years on the chassis. So they, these give me a good chance of, of doing that. Now, similarly to how it's currently hanging, the intention is not to leave the front and rear sections cantilevering. Whilst it's probably okay as it is at the moment and, and sitting statically on the dolly, when I come to working on the front and rear sections and pushing and pulling on it, it, it is going to need some support. So, so I, I will be coming up with some, some outriggers that, that will pick up the front and the, and, and the rear um, pickup points that, that are from the chassis. So the car will then be fully supported once it's on the dolly. Okay, so I've put some cork just to give a bit of a soft, soft top surface, a bit of a soft landing for the, for the body shell. And then if I put them in order of, so they're, they're the two at the, at the back, they're the two at the front, so the whole, whole patterns differ. I've actually put four holes at the ones at the back, although the, the TR4A, which has got, got the um, IRS chassis, albeit this one's with a live axle, has actually only got three holes, but I put the fourth one in for, in case I do a TR4. So I've put the cork on, but I needed to just shim these out because I want to copy the shim arrangement that's on the chassis onto these fixtures. So I've printed these little guys, which are, well, they're five, five millimeter shims, effectively. There's, there's solid 3D print. So I first need to even them, even them out because this one I didn't get quite right. The um, that bracket for for some reason is five mil lower, so that, that's now an even surface. And then this this shim on the car is is five mil lower than all the others. All the others have got the same shim, so I'm just going to do um, one more shim on it on every bracket. So that brings them all up to five mil. They're all now five mil higher than that one. So that should mean that that's the same as what the chassis has, and it's then the same as the body shell is used to sitting on. I don't know whether that's particularly important, but it feels like that's probably the right thing to do, at least for now, until I can understand the body shell alignment a bit further. So let's get these on the dolly, and then lower the, the shell onto these, and get it moved out of the, the two-post lift area.